The matric results are coming within days. Um, next week, Monday, the minister will announce the results. And uh, from Tuesday, students will be able to get their results at uh, the exam centres and the schools where they wrote the exams. Everybody's waiting <laughs> for one of these. Um, a real special feeling to get it uh, in your hands. Uh, I can still remember the day I got mine. So let's talk a little bit about the national results. Um, if we were to look at the pass rates, you know, going back 10 years, we can see that there's been a continuous work and a continuous effort to improve the metric uh, class pass rate. If you go back as far as 2010, you'll see it was only 68%. It steadily increased 70%, you know, uh, went up to 78% in 2013, fell back a little bit, um, and by 2018 we're back up to 78%, last year up to 81%. So I think everybody's hoping to, to beat that national number. Um, personally, I think with COVID, with the many lost uh, days that the matrix had, even though everybody worked harder, even though there was extra help. Um, you know, the teachers worked so hard. There was TV um, education for these metrics. Uh, I still think we will see some kind of dip uh, because of what a tough year it was. So uh, if you ask me, I think, you know, in 2019, the class of 2019 was at 81%. I think we'll drop under 80%. Obviously hoping that we don't. Uh, the, the other interesting thing, of course, about the class of 2020 is that the adult metric um, exams that usually happens in May and June uh, because of COVID was moved to, co to coincide with the school metric exams in November. So uh, a record um, number of students, um, over, a million, uh, over a million students wrote metric um, at the end of last year. And usually it's in the region of you know, just under about 800,000 uh, matriculants at the right. So it's a huge class. It's going to be really interesting to see those results. Uh, I thought to say something about the, some of the questions that came up in the, the student groups I'm in. The, the one question was, you know, now, now that Umalusi has approved the marks, they talked about adjusting some of the marks. Does that mean my marks will go up or down by 10%? The short answer is no, it won't. Um, a, a handful of subjects are adjusted. It happens every year. It's no big deal. Um, and if you look at the subjects that went up and the subjects that went down, um, most of them are subjects that doesn't, doesn't have that many students on them. I think with the exception of um, life science, where the marks were increased, and I think accounting is one of the subjects where the marks were decreased. Those, those are quite big subjects. Um, I th well, you know, to explain the 10% thing, Umalusi can increase or decrease the mark by up to 10%. So it doesn't mean that you sold 10%. Also, 10% of the mark you achieved. So if you achieved 30 and they add the full 10%, you get 33, not 40. Um, if you get 50 and they subtract the whole 10%, you don't go from 50 down to 40 you go from 50 minus 10% of 50, which is five. So you go down from 50 to 45. Um, so I know it sounds scary when it, there's marks being pushed up and pushed down and 10% sounds scary, but honestly, I don't think it's a big deal. Uh, the last question, um, yeah, two more things. The, the other big question for students now is, you know, am I at the risk that my results will get blocked if I was somehow involved in the leaking of the papers? Uh, the short answer is, uh, if you received it, you didn't ask for it and you didn't use it, then chances are you're not affected. Certainly the people who stole these papers, certainly the people who spread them around, uh, their marks will be withheld. Um, out of the million people who wrote the exam, that might be you know, 200 students or 300 students, as far as I know at this point. Uh, the Department of Education is still investigating. And obviously, if there's evidence that the student cheated, which includes you received uh, a paper beforehand and they can see in your results that that pushed up your numbers, um, then your, your marks will be withheld. 
you know, in the last few days, um, waiting for those results, it's stressful. Uh, if you've, you've studied for 12 years to get to this point, uh, it's stressful to wait for that final, final mark. So I thought I'd say a few, few things about how to deal with, it, with the stress. Uh, my favorite thing, avoid other stressed people. More conversations, more chats uh, with people who are also stressed will not make you less stressed, it will make you more stressed. It's time to just keep yourself to yourself for a little bit. Um, go for a walk. Um, if you feel anxious, just a little bit of exercise, walk around the block and it, and it just helps you get out of that panic. Um, and for me the most important thing, and I hope people take it to heart when I say metric is not that important. And when I say metric is not that important, what I mean is you will have opportunities to rewrite if you're not happy with your marks, you'll have opportunity to redo metric. Uh, once you're 21 you can do the adult metric. There's lots of programs you can study where you don't need metric to enter the programs. Um, and you can still study up to matric level and pass matric level to national certificate, national diploma level, even if you fail matric or even if you're not so happy with the results you get in matric. So please, matric is not that important. It's a thing uh, that happens in your life. Uh, if it doesn't go as, as planned, there are many opportunities. Your life isn't over, your study opportunities certainly are not over.